Right guys, so I bet you didn't expect to be seeing this on a live match, sat at home in garden. <laughs> so to be honest with you, I didn't do an introduction for the live match. Not because I didn't plan on filming one, because I did. It was the fact that the peg that I drew just needed a little bit more preparation than what I'd done. <laughs> so we were at Rookery Waters and the Ladies National were split across three lakes and I've drawn Magpie Lake. And I think the peg was 26 or 36, I think it was and apparently it's the best peg in Cambridge. So when you see the video of the peg, you'll see why, obviously. We'll go on to see whether it lived up to its name or not. But it needed a little bit more preparation than what I'd done. Obviously I'd done some preparation as for, for all matches, but there's three, possibly four pegs that add lily pads to them and you never expect to draw these pegs, so I wasn't fully prepared. So I was sat on the bank, tying a few extra rigs before the start because I knew that I'd go through them. So this is me introduction now. I hope you like the video and we'll go from there. So there we go, that will start at match and they're all in. And I've started to the lily pads about eight metres it is, nine metres. Quite long for this peg, can't go much longer. <laughs> As you can see it's surrounded by lilies and everything so I'm going to try bring them away a little bit. Hopefully I won't have to go too tight. And I've started on casters. So I'm just feeding casters shallow. There's already fish there to be honest. There's been fish there since I was setting up. Could see them move, moving around so I don't think it'll be long before we get his first fish. Oh. <laughs> right, on cue. There we go. I've got you, heavy gear. Look, 17 all over. Right, oh 019. Proper rigs. There we go, in the net. It's always nice to get your first one. Hopefully there's plenty more and they get a bit bigger. So first hour's passed, maybe just over an hour. And to be honest, it was an all right start. I've probably had 30, 35 pound, maybe a little bit more. So on for a decent weight, but I've got May Potter opposite me and to be honest she was getting one a chuck and I couldn't quite work out what she was doing similar to me fishing casters up towards some lilies and oh, there we go there's another and she was getting one a chuck so I swapped over to a jigger eventually worked out what she was doing and it's just like flicking a light switch literally slap it over a few times lift and drop lift and drop and away we go there you go you can see just had a another fish there a bit bigger stamp as well Still getting odd F1, but it's mainly carp mixed in. And they're coming quite regular. There's, like I say, there's a lot of fish in peg. I've lost odd one, as you can imagine, looking at it, but not too drastic at the minute. I think I'm winning the battles, put it that way. So I'm just, as you can see, flicking the jigger right on the edge of them lilies. Just lifting it in, giving it a couple little flicks. Oh, there's one on there already. Didn't even have time to feed me bait. But as you can see now, I've got full top kit down, just in case I pull out things back and keep them under control as well. I've got to give it quite a bit because it can still get under the lilies when it's on a top kit. That's how close they are. So it's all about giving it as much as I can without pulling out or breaking anything. But if I give it an inch, it'll be in there. But some of these are quite big fish as well, to be honest. So I've just got to try to take my time in all that and not pull out of any. You can see I'm just loose feeding a bit of meat down the edge in case it comes into it. And some pellets to them left hand lilies as well, just on corner. So if I can catch them there a bit later on, game on because it's a lot quicker and I can get under control more easy because it's not as far out. So there we go. Oh, just missed it. Fight like mad in here as well. Strong fish. It ducks come as well, clear out the casters that land on. But at the same time, they'll knock them off. So the fish are sat under him and when ducks come on, casters will fall off and carry on feeding them. So all works well. You can see the fighting hard. 17 although I've got on here, so it's not light gear, but some of them just fight hard, some of them are big. 
some of them come in all right it's got to take your time and make them all count Nobody likes to see that. As you can see, my lilies have moved slightly. We've had a little bit of carnage. Won some, lost some. But I think I'm winning the battle between me and the carps. <laughs> it's a bit fierce, but it's going well. I'm enjoying myself. Loads of fish here, so it's just about trying to get them in without losing any or all like that. Still on the jigger, by far the best method. No point picking up a fixed rig now if this keeps going under. And to be honest, I think it gives me that extra second or two because I don't realise they're up. The line just starts moving and as I pull back, the fish go. I was on a fixed method. They were under before I'd even had time to strike half at time. So I think I'm on the right method. Right peg, right lake. Just got to make it count. It's not often that you draw pegs like this in nationals. Look at that, that's a, an F1. Nice one by the looks of it. Is it an F1? Might have been a carp. Looked nice anyway. Nice decent fish, didn't fight too hard. That's what we like. Straight back out and slapping again. I'm on a banded caster, feeding casters, putting banded caster on. Sometimes I'll put a couple of maggots on, but while I've got caster stays on, I'd rather fish a caster. There's only a little bit of meat down edge. Still feeding my pellets down that left hand edge. And just firing my casters in. All time, just so there's a Steady flow of casters there, just keep them grubbing around and up in water. There we go. They do like that noise sometimes, they come to it splash. I'd odd one take it just as it hits water and it'll go, so they're definitely tuned into it. Right on the edge of them lilies. No, Chloe to me right's catching as well, but she's not catching as many, but all those seem to be big carp. She's had some big fish, and then May's getting a lot of fish opposite as well. So it's a good little battle. May's seem to be smaller, but she's getting one of chucks, so she keeps going where she is. She'll be hard to beat. We've got to wait for some bigger fish, hopefully. Whereas Chloe's catching not as many fish, but the big ones, so it'll be tight between three of us, to be honest. Long way to go yet. We're back out now, it's same, as I say, I'm just doing exactly the same casters. To these lilies. I'm going to catch one more here for cameras and then get my head down, catch a few. And I have seen odd ones start to come on these pellets to my left hand side. So I'm going to build their confidence up and hopefully slay a few in the last hour and a half, two hours. They look a bit bigger, but it will be a bit carnage as you can imagine. It's been lovely though. It's catching. F1s and carp and plenty of bites. Just 
jiggering away, lifting and dropping, and then as soon as one sees it, grabs it, it's fish on, battle away. Oh, oh, that one nearly did me. You can see it swirl right on edge of Lily's fizz up. There's a lot of fish there blowing on silt. Must have disturbed it when it went down. It's a bit of a battle, is this one? Well, then, where you've got to pull, but up you don't pull out. Because I'm fishing all over. To be honest, it's one of them pegs where I didn't come prepared for it, to be honest. I've had 13 hybrids in, and I knew that there were, I've not been for a practice, I knew there were a couple of pegs that had lilies, or three pegs as there is. And it's one of them you never think you're going to draw them. And luckily, I had this 17 Halloween, so this is probably going to do all my rigs. There we go. Another fish. So I'm just having a quick look down this edge. There's odd indication down here, but I ain't had oak down here as yet. Still feeding out to me lilies long. There is some fish out there, to be honest, so I'm not going to give this long. I keep feeding it and hopefully I have a drop on it later on and they'll, they'll arrive. Yeah. Just going to swap that over. So I had a, a pellet on down there as I'm throwing pellets in. I just think carp for pellets a bit noisier. Whereas out long, I'm just going to stick to what I've been catching on, which is casters or maggots. So we've got a few more pellets for them. Keep them there and go back out. Long, long, long. Eight metres. <laughs> there we go. Slap, slap. Jigger, jigger. That's what we like. Sometimes it does it well just to have a rest, as you can see. Whoop, straight into a fish. But it's always worth, if it comes alive down this left hand edge, then game on. But for now, I'm just going to keep putting fish in net. I know there's a few other catching. I know Sarah Taylor's catching a few. I've heard Abby's catching a few. Obviously, I can see May and Chloe. So it'll be a good match this to be honest I try not to make many mistakes and make the most of a good situation at the minute and it is going quite well at least when I fish my pellets I can lasso one but it's not quite the same lasso in a caster it don't work so sometimes it takes a little while to Rebate. I say a little while, it'll probably take seconds, but it feels like you're out of water ages. Messing about, putting new baits on. Whereas on my lasso, it's just perfect. That's how I like to fish on my pellets. But sometimes you can't always fish how you want to fish. So there we go. Cast her back on. Back out again. Slap, slap, jigger, jigger. <laughs> Probably does it all right, like you say. Feed me casters in between, so fish are just having a free feed. Go out, slap, get one. That's when you know there's a few fish there and your feeding's half decent. Don't want to say I've got it bang on, but I'm not far off. <laughs> there we go. As quick as that, another one in net. This is how you get your big weights. It's been consistent, smooth, not rushing. Everything's done as quick as I, I can. Obviously, I'm going to feed my casters now, get my next one lined up. Sometimes it wastes a bit of time, but oh, it feels like that. But now when I go out, if I get one, it's easier than slapping when there's no bait there and then trying to feed. And It's all right if you're out there and feeding, but getting them lined up, feed your bait, then they're looking for more. And yours is the only one there. Do a little bit of slapping with your jigger, jig, jig, slap, slap. Feed my pellets down my edge and hopefully they come alive. Let's 
keep these casters going in. Such a nice way of fishing. Right enjoying it I am. I'm gonna get one more and then carry on catching a few. Turn cameras off and carry on. So I'll keep feeding me meat. There we go. It's all going to plan. Hopefully next time you see me I'll be catching down this left hand edge. That's the plan anyway. There we go, another one in the net. A little left one that small fish. I'll still keep feeding my casters when I go on that left hand edge though just to rest it might not be able to hammer them. So we have lift off it's been like this now for a good half hour 45 minutes literally fisher chuck mainly carp some decent ones as well on that pellet down the edge so I thought it would come good but it's a bit ridiculous to be honest. It's gone mega. You can see we've got a nice little bit of rain just before end, just to get everything wet. But the fishing is still a mega, to be honest. Feeding odd bit of caster when I get chance. Just because you can't put all your eggs in one basket, but to be honest, the amount of fish there and how it's going, cut size of that. Have a decent carp. I think we're on onto a winner here. It's it's all coming good and. Look that one and then get back out. We go feed. Let's get them lined up. Slap, slap, jigger, jigger. <laughs> exactly the same as on casters, but I'm feeding pellets, so don't feed quite as many. The trick is I'm slapping it right on edge at reeds and big carp are sat under them, I can see some of them to be honest. So I'm just trying to get it right on edge, a couple of slaps, there we go. Obviously it's a bit more carnage here, ones like this that swim away what we like but some of them as soon as you rook them they're belting into it. I have lost a couple and a bit of gear in but I've got more out so I'm happy about that. On for a, a good way, I reckon. Size of fish, re how regular they're coming. It's hard for anybody to catch faster, to be honest, because I'm catching so short as well. So, as long as I've had kept ticking away them first few hours and kept in contention, I'm happy. I know May's gone down edge trying to catch a catch. She's had some, but I think she's had a few foul lookers and I like to say that I'm catching her up, look at that. Chloe's obviously still catching, but she's not catching as regular, but she's catching big fish. And I know that Sarah's just gone on a big surge as well, so she's catching some big fish now. And really regular, so it's a good battle, really good, close national. 55, I believe, women here. It's awesome to see on its own. There we go, it's just about trying to get them in now without being too aggressive and pulling out of any. They've pulled out of a couple to be honest, but it were either that or they're going to lilies, so you've got to pull an off at best. Some of them fight like mad, some come in really easy and the other ones are like they're on steroids. You just can't get them up. It's the commons mainly that are fighting really hard. Mirrors seem to be alright, I'm happy with mirrors. <laughs> Quite a few ghosties as well, a lot of ghosties in this lake. There we go. Not a bad fish that to be honest. That's it, as soon as it's in, make sure then next fish are fed, unhook it, feed again and slaps like jigger jigger. <laughs> So 
My next line is primed. Slap, slap. Jigger, jigger. It's Sean. <laughs> you can't catch much faster than that. Ridiculous. Never a known out like it, to be honest. The place is solid. The peg's solid. The fish are feeding. What more could you want? Right, so I'm going to make this the last one anyway. I've got 45 minutes so left and I'm on a charge, so get this one in the bag, turn cameras off, get my head down and put another few carp in the net. ka -ching, hopefully. Ooh, we're even better when that happens. <laughs> so that last hour and a half has been mental, proper solid. I don't think I've ever had it as solid as that, to be honest. And on a match like this, that's what we like. So packed away now, just waiting for scalesmen to come around to see what I've played and yeah, all good. So I'm back home now guys and as you see on the last bit of video I thought I'd have a really good day and to be honest it's been brilliant and I've ended up winning the ladies national for the third time so I'm over the moon with that. I've weighed in 123 kilos which works out at £273 I believe, I think it was 123 kilos, 700 grams or something like that. So I think £273 I believe if conversions are right and apparently that's best ladies national weight and could be the best ever national weight as well so I'm right happy with that. It was a close match though, a lot closer than what we thought when they were weighing in. There was Abby, May and Chloe to my right, they all had 108 kilos, only a few grams separating them I think. May and Abby even tied and then further around the corner Sarah Taylor's caught 113 kilos I think so obviously mega from there as well and I've just picked it, I've had 123 kilos in end, I've had a ridiculous last hour and a half, really good match, everything went to plan, a bit slow to start with but if it had been solid from the start obviously it had been even more ridiculous weight. But yeah happy with my performance, buzzing to have won ladies national, qualified for Fishermania so yeah, boom. Hope you've enjoyed this one and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.